Hello and welcome back. Today we've got an exciting product. This is the Fellow Electric Atmos from Fellow Products. These guys produce some of the most innovative uh, coffee brewing equipment, such as the Fellow EKG Kettle, you've got the Fellow Ode Grinder, you've got the original Fellow Atmos, which looks very similar to this, but this one's electric. This company is best well known for innovating in the coffee space. Their gooseneck kettle, the Fellow Stag or the Fellow Stag EKG, I think there's even a pro version of that now, uh, is probably what Fellow is best known for. However, this is their latest product and today we're going to take a deep dive. We were lucky enough to actually borrow a demo unit from our supplier of Fellow. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have a quick look and see what's inside and talk about some of the features. First of all, open it up, we've got some packaging material, the canister, we've got some cards, tucked away, there's a warranty card with a QR code that I won't show, and we've got this, which is our charging cable. Now, this is obviously used to recharge this, which is really cool because it means that there's no batteries that you're going to be popping in and out and throwing away. So yeah, we love to see rechargeable electric products. Cool. So if you are familiar with the Fellow Atmos, uh, this looks pretty much identical. Um, traditionally, to use the Fellow Atmos, what you'd have to do is you'd have to uh, spin the lid and to be honest, it's not that hard to do, but I feel like if you're doing it multiple times a day, it can get really annoying. But that's not why this is electric. The reason why they've made an electric fellow Atmos is because eventually as time goes on and your coffee starts to age and release more gases, the vacuum inside the original Atmos starts to lose. Now, depending on how fresh your coffee is and how much degassing is going on and all these other ambient variables that take place inside the Atmos, your Atmos might degas enough where it actually loses that vacuum seal and the lid just pops off. So what the electric Atmos does to fix this problem is once it detects that the vacuum inside this canister isn't optimal or isn't being held, it actually actuates the pump again and it pumps out that air inside the canister and replenishes that vacuum, keeping your coffee fresher for longer. So let's say you're going away for a weekend or a week away, you leave your coffee in your Atmos, provided it's charged, it's gonna maintain that vacuum so that by the time that you get home, your coffee is still going to be without air and super fresh, ready to go. So, let's lift off the lid. Now, the base of this actually looks identical to the original Fellow Atmos lid, um, and actually so does the canister. It's a stainless steel, and it's got this beautiful matte black coating that we absolutely love. The Fellow Electric Atmos, as of today, is available with the lid and the canister. Unfortunately, the lids are not sold separately. But the good news is that the lids are compatible with existing fellow Atmos canisters. So if you've already got an Atmos and for whatever reason that lid has broken, you can definitely use this interchangeably on that canister. Now at the moment, we've got the 0.7 liter and the 1.2 liter Atmos available in matte black like this one or the clear glass, which allows you to see your coffee. Now the clear glass versus the metal. Just something I want to quickly touch on. When you talk about coffee aging, there's a whole heap of variables that impact this. Having a clear glass Atmos, although it might look cool, if you're not storing that in a dark place where there's no access to light, it's actually going to speed up the aging process of that coffee. Compared to the matte black Atmos, once you put the lid on and you close it, there's no light getting in here and that light is not going to be able to affect your coffee. Just something to consider. The only time I would opt for the clear glass is if you're putting it in a shelf or in a cabinet somewhere tucked away and hidden from light. Now to use your Atmos, all you have to do is put your coffee inside the canister. Place the lid on top. Now there's not a lot of coffee in here so it might take a little bit longer. If you fill this all the way up to the top and you've got a lot of coffee taking up the majority of the space inside the canister, what's going to happen is there's actually less air for it to pump out so it's going to be a lot quicker. So all you do, place the lid on, make sure it's in place 
and press the button once. As it's pumping out the air, you've got this little flashing green indicator light. When it stops pumping, you'll actually be able to hear that the pump has stopped, and then it's going to flash one last green light, and then there's not going to be any indicator left. If there's no coffee inside the canister and there's no vacuum and you haven't pressed the button, you'll notice that the light is actually a yellow color or an orange, and this is indicating that there's no current vacuum inside the canister and the pump is not going. So theoretically, now that this has a full vacuum, you'll be able to tip it on its head. You won't be able to get this lid off unless you pull really, really hard. Now, there's no locking mechanism inside this canister. The way that it closes and it maintains its closed position is because that vacuum is actually holding the lid down tight. If you do pull it really hard, it will come off. But I mean, if you hold it upside down, you go crazy with it, it's not gonna spill any of the beans. I think that's it. If there's any questions that you've got about the fellow electric Atmos, leave a comment down below. All of the four variants, the black in the small, large, and the clear glass in the small and large are all available on thebasicbarista.com. We've also got the traditional Atmos, which is a little bit cheaper, and it comes in three sizes, the 0.4 liter, 0.7 liter, and the 1.2 liter. So guys, Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Have a great day and happy brewing.